Well, that's something I think, you know, is going to have to be seen because he's a good president. You know, he's been in politics for many, many years. And I just, I would rather see him other than Trump and, uh, or if they can get somebody younger, that'll do a good job. Well, right now it would probably be the vice president. So voters are fearful. I hear a lot of anxiety. Um, depending on the household, it's not so much about Joe Biden and it's more about a possibility of no Joe Biden, um, the possibility of Donald Trump winning another four years of Trump. Uh, people are very nervous about that, and that seems to be the dominant emotion that comes out at the doors about the presidential race. Uh, of course, commentary about his debate performance has come up, but many people excuse it uh, with an explanation that um, he's been sick, he'd been running across the planets right beforehand. So I think people are generally pretty forgiving about his debate performance, but it does not uh, negate the anxiety that they're feeling about November. I have mixed feelings about it. I have mixed feelings. I absolutely understand the concerns that people feel. I also think pragmatically speaking, it does not benefit Democrats to dwell on that. And I think it only helps us to keep our eye on the ball. Um, remember this election is not about Donald Trump. It's not about Joe Biden. This election is about abortion access, inflation, um, lowering taxes, fully funding education, um, people should not be afraid they're going to be taxed out of their homes. And so we need to keep those issues centered and think which party, which, which candidate is going to um, support us in those areas. And Donald Trump is not it. It's Joe Biden. And we need to stay focused on the policies.